Hey everybody, Nancy Burgess, Nancy Burgess Strategic Marketing, talking to you this month about marketing plans. That's our theme of the month, to make sure all you business owners out there and all you marketers have a marketing plan for 2021. I know it's a little late, but it's never too late to have a plan and execute on it. Uh, we already talked about what Benjamin Franklin said about uh, failing to prepare. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the components of the marketing plan. And I will put in the chat, I will put in the um, post, the, the, the URL for um, my blog that talks a little bit more about the details of each marketing plan, or you can go to nancyburgess.net and download a template from the shop. The first part of a, the marketing plan is the executive summary. And that's usually like if you have to present to your boss and you have to have a plan and you want to kind of have that high level, but you can't write the high level part, even though it's at the front of the document until you've taken care of the details. So the very first thing you're going to want to do with your marketing plan is figure out what your business objectives are. What are you, what is the business trying to achieve in 2021? And then how are you going to get there? Uh, for example, did you want to grow? Uh, you probably want to grow revenue. Did you want to, Did you need to grow leads? Did you want to? Uh, is there something you want to do to get loyal customers? You know, some businesses don't have repeat business; others do. So, um, it could it could change a little bit about what you want to do. So, target audience is the first thing you want to look at. Who are these people, and how are you going to communicate with them? And you want to have an integrated plan. You don't want to just have like a one tone plan. You know, you don't want to just do SEO or just do ads or just do social media. You need to have an integrated plan. That's what's going to work the best. And reach out to us if you want to know more or reach out to your marketing agency so that you can uh, get the, the what you need. Uh, another thing that you, we want to talk about in the marketing plan is after you identify your audience is to do an, an analysis. What are the competitors doing? Um, I like to do a SWOT as part of the situational analysis. Like, what are what are your um, strengths for of your product or service or company? What are your weaknesses of your product or service or company? And then, what are the opportunities in the marketplace that you might be able to take advantage of? Is there something like, for example, with the pandemic that you know makes it a good thing that you have um, that you can do for your business? Or is there a threat because of the pandemic or something else? So those would be external, the opportunities and threats. So you're going to want to do your situational analysis and look at the competitors, do a little competitive insights, check out their websites, check out their messaging. What are they saying? And how can you differentiate yourself and be a little bit different from that? The next thing that you want to do, once you know who you're talking to and what everybody else is saying, then you, you can do your positioning statement um, to which will help guide your messaging and your story about your brand or your service or your product. And then uh, the next uh, component is your strategy. What is the overall big picture? Strategies tend to start with verbs. So how will you do this? What is your strategy? Tactics, people sometimes get confused about strategy and tactics. Tactics are usually nouns. Uh, they're things that you do. You might do an email, you might do a post, but your strategy is your overarching goal of how you're doing it. Maybe you're doing a content strategy, that kind of thing. And then another thing that we need to look at, we talked about this briefly last time is marketing budgets because you know resources are not unlimited. There's bandwidth of the people internally in your company. There's, there's uh, you know, what talents people have, how much bandwidth they have, how much time in the day how much money people have to spend on you know, different products and services. So you wanna pick the things, you wanna make sure that you're working smart. See, I have over here, work smart. I don't know if you can see that. It says work, work uh, smart, there we go. Uh, so you work smart. So you don't necessarily wanna work harder, but you wanna work smarter. How can you achieve that? If you're kind of slow or this isn't your wheelhouse, how can you uh, better achieve those goals and make that happen for your business? And then choose the, the tactics that are going to be most effective for your business that are going to have the most impact on your short and long-term business goals. Don't forget those long-term goals too. Don't just live for the moment. And then probably most, most important them, uh, is 
measurement. How are you going to measure and evaluate your success? What are your measurements? And I think you know all about SMART goals. Everyone's always talking about SMART goals, you know. Um, but make sure you have goals that you can measure. Um, and if you can't measure it, maybe you, you measure in different ways, um, if it's more of an evaluation kind of thing. But most, especially with digital marketing, so much is measurable. So how will you measure your success? This video is kind of long, but I wanted marketing plans are not a small feat. But make sure you take care of the core components in marketing plan. If you need help, reach out. Nancy Burgess, Nancy Burgess Strategic Marketing. And just a reminder that we go live on the third Thursday of the month on Facebook. So look for us there. And we're looking to go live on Tuesdays in LinkedIn. But we more to report later. So uh, marketing plans this month, next month, content strategies. What, what do you need to know about web and digital content? All right. Thank you. Have a great day.